Yep. That's yeah. not ideal, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Maybe it's even better. Oh, we're on. We are off, actually. Woohoo! G'day guys, welcome back to our second shed episode here at Think 4x4. It's awesome to be back with our shed episodes. Today we're installing gull wing windows on the 80 series Land Cruiser. Ben, why are we installing gull wing windows? Alright Lockie, so I'm super excited that these gull wings have arrived. We've got the old sliding design which is stiff and stuck and I don't really use it for access into the rear of the cruiser. So the gull wing is going to open up, give us full access, both sides of the car, improve functionality. It's going to be a really nice addition. It's going to be a great addition. The instructions say an hour, so we've allocated two days to doing this. We haven't done it before. It's going to be really interesting. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start by removing the trim on the inside. There we are. Now if you look closely, there's typical rust in the rear windows. If you don't have rust in the rear windows of an 80 series, you probably don't have an 80. So we've got some quick rust repair that we're going to do patch repairs on before the new ones go in. Now what we have to do is pry the rubber away from the window. Sounds alright. That sounds good, man. This is sounding. Oh, we're on. We are off, actually. Woohoo! Woohoo! How's that? Step number one, just take this out. Look at that record time that was. All right, so what we're doing here is a quick coating over the rust in the windows. It's not as bad as I thought, but a bit of preventative maintenance. I'm gonna put some paint on it anyway. So we've cleaned it up with a wire wheel, hit it with some wet and dry sandpaper, clean it up. Now we're gonna just put some wax and grease remover on, get the last bit of the residual dirt dust off. Then we'll go for a rust converter. So this is easy, just paint on with a brush and that's a chemical reaction, which stops the rust going any further. Follow that just straight with a primer on top of it. And then once the seal goes on for the gun wings, it'll be entirely sealed. All right, so this is the rust converter going on now. But you apply it quite generously with a paintbrush. What it does is it's a chemical reaction to stop the rust growing any further so it essentially seals it and then I'll follow it with a coat of uh, rust guard primer. Remove loose material, apply one, coat by brush, wipe off excess, touch dry 30 minutes, allow two hours prior to overcoating. So our one hour going installation is already out the window. Yes! Oh. How good's that? I'm not sure you'd be able to resell these. <laughs> That's a bit bent, eh? They're good and warped. <laughs> Alright, so we don't have two hours to literally wait for paint to dry here. 
good old technique you learn from working at the paint desk at Bunnings is hair dryer or blow dryer. Alright, so what I'm doing now, taping up the exterior and I'll go inside and tape up the interior as well just so once the rust guard primer's on, a little spray with, with a rattle can, give it a nice finishing touch. Good thing this doesn't have to look pretty. All right, two bolts in. Back this way a little bit. Back that way a fraction. Yep. Should we hit on your side? I reckon it still needs a tap this way. Still needs a tap that way. Quick wipe with wax and grease remover so the mastic can stick. All right, so what we've done here, we're using Selly's D-Mastic Black, just bought at um, Bunnings, which is a self-foaming caulking compound. D-Mastic is an oil-based sealant that forms a skin exposure to air, but remains soft underneath, designed for sealing windscreens in cars, boats, trucks, and buses. So as you can see, I've just done a consistent bead, or as best as I could along here. Definitely not the finest job. You're not going to see it, and we'll probably clean it up a little bit with the uh, with the rag if need be. Um, but uh, so the rest of the window jam, the actual sealant is going to sit within the pinch weld. So this is literally just for the bracket that we're about to mount on as part of our next step. Now that we're putting it on for what we think is the final time, we're swapping out the original nuts for nylocks. really work the corner. Yeah, 
more troubles with this one. Oh man, how much good was that in the first time? There you have it folks, Gull Wings on the 80 series Land Cruiser by the Cruiser Company. What an epic installation. It was meant to be an hour, it took us two days in the end, it's Friday knockoff. We're keen to move on. <laughs> ben, what's next for Thing 4x4? Well, I tell you what Lockie, we've got a couple more five minute jobs to do on the car and then a few day trips planned for the big trip up north in, Ju in July. Yeah, in July, yeah that's it. So guys stay tuned for that, that is going to be unreal and as always like and subscribe and thanks for watching our second shed episode of Thing 4x4.